Yo, what is up my disciples? Welcome back to another art video. Today we're gonna to be talking all about how to do gesture drawing. So stay tuned for that. Before we hop into that though, I wanted to give you guys uh, a few quick updates on um, kind of where I'm at. I'm about to start a community college class. So I'm gonna be pretty busy the next two months. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up that updates will be a little irregular, but still expect things on Fridays for the most part. Um, I have some interviews I want to finish um, editing maybe this weekend, and um, I am trying to record some stuff before classes even start, okay? So I'm going to try to record all of this gesture drawing uh, material now, so I have some stuff to upload later, and hopefully that will kind of help you guys, you know, keep going on with their art journey. And I really want to do this because, you know, I want to get some drawing in before I get busy um, working on my, my classes. Um, and that's an addition with my full-time job, so stay tuned for that. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Today I wanted to talk about um, gesture drawing. And for myself, this was a concept that I never really understood um, for a while. Like it took me a long time to kind of get a grasp of what people were talking about in terms of doing gesture drawing and how was that kind of helpful for you know you as an artist and it wasn't really until um, I watched a youtuber by the name of Sykra, um kind of explain what he was doing and what he was looking for that I kind of understand what this practice was all about so that was kind of my launching point and my starting point and I've figured out a whole bunch of stuff uh, myself doing this practice and I developed my own kind of thinking when it comes to um, doing gesture drawing so I just want to share one practice with you today and I think I'm gonna have a total of about three videos about gesture drawing but I just want to focus in on the first one which is a single line uh, gesture drawing and I'm just gonna explain like for myself what I do and the importance of it to me. So hopefully that can maybe spark some ideas for you when you go to practice, okay? So grab your pencil and paper. We're gonna go ahead and get started. What I like to do to get warmed up for this one line uh, drawing, uh, gesture drawing, I like to start off with just doing some simple lines, some simple circles. So let's go ahead and start off with just drawing some freehand circles. And what I do is I just fill up a page of drawing circles and they're quick, they don't have to look good, but you're just going ahead and warming up your arm. And while you're doing this, you want to try to keep them uniform if you can, but also what I want you to focus on while you're creating these freehand circles is using your arm and not your wrist to draw, okay? so. I'm using a whole sweeping motion to create these circles. So you can fill up as many pages as you need um, to do this practice, but just keep on doing it over and over and over again to kind of warm yourself up. And then after you do a page or two of that, I want you guys to do this next exercise. I want you to start with a big circle and I want you to spiral your way in to the center, just like that. Okay, and I want you to do that a few times as well. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect circles. Look how kind of messy this is. Right now, we're just trying to loosen up our arm and get ready for drawing. Okay, so that's the second practice. The third practice that we're going to be doing is drawing lines, straight lines. So just fill up a page, just doing parallel lines like this. And when I'm making these parallel lines, I am using my natural uh, direction of how my arm wants to move. I'm right-handed, so my arm wants to move in this direction. And so I just turn the paper and the canvas so I can make these lines. Um, so go ahead and create a page like this. And the fourth and final practice that I do before I start drawing is a squiggle line. And you pretty much just take a line and you just make a squiggle down. And then you try to create a line that is parallel to it, okay? Remember, just keeping it loose. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you cross the lines, you know, really who cares? Um, you're just trying to be loose with it, right? 
and you're trying to use your whole arm to draw these curves and this is just going to warm up your arm to do straight lines curves circles you know the basic line that you're going to need to create a drawing okay so now that our practice and our warm-ups are kind of out of the way we're ready to go we're ready to draw so let's go ahead and jump right into this lesson so if you watched previous video you'll know I've already talked about this website but I wanted to go ahead and show it and that is a website called posemaniacs.com it's pretty old um, and it runs on um, flash okay so if you're using Google Chrome and you know you're having issues of saying okay you can't run this it's flash it's outdated you come up here you click on this little eye right and you're going to come here it's gonna say flash and it's probably going to be blocked by default so you want to go to allow click allow refresh the page and then you'll be all set to go now this website is it's awesome I, I think this is one of the best websites to do practices from for multiple reasons and I'm going to quickly go over them number one uh, down here on this side you can basically pick the angle whether it's a upshot or a downshot worms eye view birds eye view you can you can choose what angle you want and then when you open up the model you can also rotate the model um, horizontally so you can see the entire form um, as it's being rotated and this is really helpful to understand form you can draw the same pose at different angles and honestly this is a good place to get reference uh, for when you, you you are working on a pose and you just need a little bit of help you forget how something looks at this angle you know you can come here it's awesome um, and then the next great thing about it is that these models they actual actually show the muscles so it's not just you know um, a basic mannequin it's also got the muscles involved so when we start to talk about how to draw the abdomen the pecs and stuff we are going to continue to use this website but for now we are just going to draw the mannequin and then the final feature that's great about this is that it does have a 30 second drawing and that is what we are going to be using for today so we're going to go ahead and click on that 30 second drawing and we want to keep these drawings very short because we want to be very loose with the lines, we want to be very quick with the lines because what we're going to be working on today is the sketch in which you are just figuring out a pose, a pose that you want your character to be in. And you really want to be quick at that stage. You don't want to start adding detail. You don't want to start adding proportions too much. You want to think about perspective, but not too much. You want to simply get something down onto the page. And so that's what we're going to be working on today. So go ahead and click it to 30 seconds. Um, I like to have a countdown so I know when it's about to switch. And then we're going to click to start, obviously. Um, and um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> these are a lot of fun. I really love these. These are my favorite warm ups. They're super quick. They're super fun to do. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get it started, and I'll kind of explain more as we go through it. So we want to use just one line. This first one's gonna be really bad. I already lost some of the time already, but basically you just. Don't lift that pen up off the paper, right? And just keep on drawing what you see. It doesn't have to be clean. You just, you're drawing what you see and you don't lift that pen off the paper and it doesn't matter. It does not matter if it's not a pretty drawing. These are not meant to be pretty drawings. These are meant to just study something specifically. And what we're studying right now is we're studying general shape and form, okay? So, you know, it doesn't even matter where you start off with, right? What I'm looking for, um, there's actually a couple things that I'm looking for while I'm drawing these. Um, the main thing is the overall shape, and I and I believe I kind of talked about that last video as well. So you're just trying to make sure you get the general shape of the body and what's kind of going on as quickly as possible, okay? And the second thing that I'm doing is that I'm finding rhythms, you know. I'm not drawing really choppy lines. This is the importance of the one line drawing. You have to keep your lines having a rhythm. And if you look at really pro artists, you'll notice that these artists, they have a rhythm to their drawing. They don't draw their drawing stiff, right? Because they're, they're drawing through 
just like I am now and just like you will be, they're drawing through each of these lines. Okay, we're not focused on muscles or anything like that. We're keeping our mannequin still in mind, right? Getting a little bit of perspective in, in this one. But again, we're just thinking about general shape. So continue to think about general shape as you're going through here. And I mean, it's kind of hard to explain this. You just kind of have to come in and, and, and start to do this. Um, and you're gonna notice the first couple times that you do it, you're gonna be really frustrated. And that's actually kind of, that's what kind of drew me into this is because I couldn't complete, com I couldn't complete it in time. You know, I was spending too long trying to figure out um, details. And then once you keep on doing it over and over again, you start to realize that it's not about the details. And um, you kind of get a little bit quicker with it like that. And it's kind of addicting. It's kind of like a little mini game that you have to play. It's like, can you draw the pose before the timer runs out? and it's really fun to do and it kind of just helps you loosen up because you realize you're not creating something perfect you're simply trying to uh, create a a figure and a form and a pose and rhythm and direction for right now in later videos we'll talk about the cleanup we'll talk about different ways to do gesture drawing but personally this is the one that i have the most fun with and i do this at the beginning of pretty much every drawing session because I need to just get warmed up and again it only takes 30 seconds so you can do a whole bunch of these and maybe just spend five to ten minutes and that's what we're going to do today just spend five to ten minutes doing um, something like this okay so I'm about to take just a quick break because I wrote down some notes of the things that I wanted to kind of discuss while I'm going through these drawings um, but um, as I continue to draw here, just, just look at the different types of shapes that I'm making. And you don't have to repeat these shapes or anything like that. But just notice that everything has a rhythm. Right? Okay, so this is where I'm going to take a little break so I can check out my notes real quick. Okay, so I just kind of took a look at my notes of the different things I want to talk about. And there's, and I've kind of already talked about this, but there's three things that I focus on while I am creating these poses, okay? The first thing is, is keeping it loose, right? Keeping it loose lets you find the rhythm of the drawing easier, and that's number two, finding the rhythm. And then the third thing, which I haven't really talked about yet, is the relationship between body parts. And I'm probably gonna pose on this one just so I can kind of explain this more, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the one line drawing first, and then I'm gonna go in and explain um, what I mean by that, and what I mean by finding the relationship between uh, body parts. Okay. So let me go ahead and pause that. Um, and then this is another cool part about this. Let me see if I can find uh, where exactly it will be at. Um, here we go. So you can you can actually check out a log of what you've drawn. So you can go back to a pose that maybe you were struggling with and you were like, man, I didn't have enough time to draw all of it. And you can kind of come back to it. Okay. Um, unfortunately, it kind of mirrors it. So that's fine. We'll just kind of come back through and draw it again. Okay, so we'll go ahead and draw right here. So remember focusing in on, on just one line, right? And trying to describe the form um, as uh, quickly as possible. You know, just staying really, uh, really loose with it. Oh, didn't mean to do that. See? That's what happens when you, um, no, I think I lost it. <laughs> That's what happens when you uh, stop doing a one line, um, when you try to get too careful with it. Don't get careful with it, stick with one line, keep it really loose, keep it really quick. Um, and if an angle or something is off, then like that's okay. Right now is not about going back and changing stuff. It's about finding the the rhythms of your drawing. 
um, and that is the fun part of this. Okay, so that's the basic <laughs> one line drawing. It's simple, you know, it doesn't have to look perfect and that's not the idea. But let me, I want to illustrate this point right here, which is finding the relationship between body parts. Okay, so while I'm drawing um, this curve and I'm drawing, let's say this arm right here. Well, I'm trying to figure out what is the relationship between where this head is and where this arm is. If I go over to the picture, um, maybe I can kind of copy this picture in real quick into my document, okay, just so I can show you guys really what I'm talking about here, okay, I figured out this foreshortening by figuring out, okay, what is the relationship, well, you guys can probably barely see that, let me turn it to red, that this arm, you know, is kind of stopping right here when it comes to the face. So the th same thing over here, it's like I can see the face is coming down like this and that means this arm, right, this bicep part of the arm that needs to stop right around there. That is the foreshortening of it. So again, that's the, the kind of things that you're thinking about while you're creating this pose. Same thing with this right here. This kind of goes upwards towards the face and even though I didn't do it correctly, I kind of stopped at the correct location. So something like this and the face is coming in something like that and like this. So when you're doing these one line drawings, you're not getting the proportions exactly right. You're not getting the perspective exactly right. But those are the types of things you're trying to think about. Look about look at this rhythm right here. This peck kind of goes down and sweeps into this like this. So I'm kind of thinking like that as well. And I try to duplicate that that shape right into where I'm at. This back line has a rhythm, right? It's got a curve rhythm, so you try to duplicate that as well, right? And this kind of comes around. This kind of has a rhythm and kind of comes up to here again. That's exactly what I do. And so when you're doing these one, these one line drawings, you're focusing in on this rhythm. And it seems, it seems complicated at first, like, oh, what rhythms do I look for? How do you know what rhythms to look for? There's no exact science here. And this is the fun part about it. While you're doing these one line drawings, you are making your own system of drawing. So it's gonna be completely unique to you and how you like to relate body parts to one another. But you're simply training yourself to find rhythms and shapes that you love. And that's what is gonna help determine your style later on is by doing these studies and you're going to figure out, okay, this is, what I like to see and um, these are the rhythms that I find within you know the legs you know the legs connecting to the hip bone connecting to the feet and uh, I don't know I have a lot of fun with it um, I hope you guys do too as well um, this is just kind of a place for you to learn and experiment and you don't have to show these one line drawings off to anyone because you know they're not meant to be impressive, impressive looking. That's not the importance of this. The importance of it is to give yourself some training to understand the rhythm of the body. And that's all we're doing right now, just understanding the, the rhythms and figuring out how things connect to one another. Um, so let me go ahead and kind of show what we created here, right? So from that one line drawing, right, you get a pretty good idea of what the entire figure looks like. Now we have a decently accurate drawing of this person kind of launching forward and throwing a punch. And again, it's all done with, with rhythms. And this is going to keep your drawings not looking stiff. You know, if you kind of come through and you, you're trying to draw this, Right, but you're 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 just you're sketching like this. This is what beginners do all the time. They're just doing like little little mini lines, and they're trying to get every detail in there at the start, and they're just scratching and scratching. Then you you lose the rhythm of it. You're gonna lose the action of the pose because it's just gonna look jittery. It's gonna look unconfident. So instead of doing that, um, try to. Again, do these one-line drawings. Increase your confidence 
right? And have fun with it. Um, that is the biggest thing. If you're not having fun while you're drawing, then, um, you know, maybe the end product is, is fun for you. So I shouldn't say, like, you shouldn't be drawing, but you really should enjoy the process. And you shouldn't be too hard on yourself, okay? And that's the last thing I'm going to harp on. This one line drawing teaches you to not be hard on yourself. It's okay if you make mistakes. Personally, I'm a perfectionist. And that's why I think I didn't really get gesture drawing at first because I thought we were trying to create like a perfect drawing. And when we're studying, we're like, we're trying to make sure that we got the lines in the right place, the rhythms in the right place. It's like, no, you, the, there, there's no, no such thing as um, a perfect drawing. And what I mean by that is that as individuals, we're going to put our style on top of it. We are going to express the form the way we want to. So it's okay if you make a mistake, right? And as long as you're training your brain to see those mistakes, then you are learning. So if you're doing something perfect, then you're probably not learning anything. But if you make a mistake, you can make a happy mistake. It's like, man, that's not what it was supposed to be, but that was a mistake that actually looks good. I like the way it looks, so you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with it and I'm going to kind of push it. You know, it's based off of real anatomy. It's based off a of real form, but I'm pushing this form a little bit. And that's what you find really excellent um, artists do is that they'll push these forms and they just, it's just a certain sense of energy and, and fun that you'll get by looking at some artist's work because you can tell they understand the process and they're just enjoying it and they're letting the drawing kind of take them on a journey as well as they're taking the drawing on a journey which um, I guess it doesn't really make any sense, but just have fun, you know, have fun with it. Um, if you guys have any questions, <laughs> leave it down in the comment section below. Um, I would recommend that you do at least like five minutes of this. Um, and so it's only 30 seconds per one. So that's a total of 10 line drawings. I, I would just recommend five minutes a day. You know, if you can't draw anything else, just do this five minutes a day. And you will see a lot of improvement in your art and that is just this is just the beginning we're gonna go through I think maybe like three or four other exercises that I do um, before I start working on like you know a final picture or a final pose um, but this is going to improve your artwork so much and it's also going to help you to draw from your imagination because you know once you start to understand these forms and just drawing with one line you could be like um, I don't know uh, imagine there's some superhero and he's kind of reaching out like this and you know the body's coming down but his legs coming up like this as well and his knees is crunched and you know he decides to do this with his foot and the other leg is kind of coming down like this and we kind of see the rhythm here and you know this foot is going like this straight down and there you know you have a pose it may not be the most accurate pose but you drew that from your imagination right you can find reference, you can clean it up, you will understand how to kind of rotate that form, and you know, you're starting to draw from imagination. So, um, hope you guys like this video. Uh, I'm gonna be back with a part two. We're gonna be discussing more stuff, cleaning up these drawings, and until then, you guys take care, um, have fun drawing, and peace.